I mean, I'm a fairly new Ontarian, as you know, Jerry, but I, I'm sort of comfortable with her as a person. I mean, ideologically, I, I am totally opposed to the NDP, but I'm, what I detect might happen is that people say, oh yeah, her, she seems nice enough. She seems friendly enough. Yeah. Um, Doug Ford, I don't like for this reason. Kathleen Wynne, I don't like for that reason. I'll go for the, the third choice. And I feel like that's what happened in Alberta. Let me show you sort of a mashup of Andrea Horwath really trying to get some punches in. You tell me how you think this went over. Did this show a level of confidence that voters will like, or do you think this might have taken the shine off Andrea Horvath? Take a look. So their no, plan, sure their plan's Ford. out the window. Mr. Ford, not their, true. Their plan at is least, actually out the window. Plan, it Mr. made a Ford. $7 billion mistake, so and the liberals Ford, are cooking the books. Mr. Ford, in There's fact, one it wasn't, person it wasn't, that they can uh, trust it wasn't that with their money, of money that has a proven... Uh, okay, stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Your child care plan Kathleen, will actually create long... Your child care plan will actually create long wait lists. Your plan has people paying $2,000 a month for child care in Toronto. You're spending $30, $40, $50 billion. Where is your money? coming from so she was doing a lot of interrupting i, I mean i know that's not yeah. a substantive reason to vote for someone or not but these things sometimes matter it gives people a certain feeling do you think she came across as a tough cookie who's going to hold doug ford to account or do you think she came across as a how do you think that went for her? i tell you it didn't actually look that bad to me um if i was a new well, democrat i would have been probably cheering her well, maybe, but uh, it's not just new, new Democrats she has to win over at this point. I think she finds herself in this amazing position where she could theoretically be premier. I don't think that the NDP have thought about that for quite a long time, which I'll get to in just a second because it gives them another problem. But I thought she seemed incredibly rude, but then I'm not predisposed to support the, the NDP anyway. I think if it were flipped around and Doug Ford was interrupting the woman as rudely as she did for 90 minutes last night, yeah. uh, that would have been the headline this morning. But that's yeah. the double standard. And I think that uh, that Ford understood it and played the game well in that regard. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.